We are now just two weeks away from election night in Iowa. Locally, several school districts are asking their taxpayers for more money. And tonight, that brings us out to Calamus Wheatland, where hopes for higher property taxes could jumpstart the district's first major renovation in nearly 30 years. It's part of our school zone coverage tonight. What if I put a K in front of it? Some things never change. Okay. Like high schoolers studying chemistry. But let's take our common form chloric acid. But change could soon be coming to the Calamus Wheatland School District. March 7th will be here before you know it. The district is asking for up to $7.8 million for cafeteria renovations, security upgrades, and classroom remodeling, including new windows, doors, and heating and cooling systems. The green is updates and renovations. They also want to connect these three buildings. The new addition would house a weight room and new tech and ag spaces. And it would be a full eight lane track and football field. And over a third of that money would go toward a brand new football field and track, something the district has never had. We've saved enough to make sure we can purchase buses and computers and other technological needs, but. Superintendent Lonnie Lupker. In order for a project of this magnitude, we need to go to a go bond issue vote. And that means increasing property taxes. If the bond passes, taxes could increase by up to 2.7% per $1,000. Happy to see it get to a vote. According to the Clinton County Assessor, this home has a taxable value of $55,000, meaning if this passes, they'd pay up to $148 more each year. Just a few blocks over, the taxable value of this house is just over $102,000 a year, meaning if this bond passes, they're going to pay just under $277 more each year. September of 1995 was the last time that we asked to increase taxes for any type of building project. Lukker says the upgrades will make the district more cost efficient, saving money in the long run. The school is a big part of our communities, and in order to keep our communities vibrant and attracting people into it, we got to show that we're growing. I've got sulfuric acid. Now the district is betting on change, bringing about that growth. Let me put another one up there. Now, if the bond passes, the school district wants to start to receive bids this spring with hopes of beginning construction by this summer. Again, election day is March 7th.